guys, right, this is a, an update to this uh, LM1875 system. I've gotten rid of the big 24-024 volts transformer and I've got a 12-012. I've also gotten rid of the power supply. I'm not getting rid of it, it's over there, just on the keyboard over there. But I'm not going to use that power supply, I'm not going to use the regulators because what I don't need to bring this voltage down at all, I can just go straight in with smoothing capacitors. And I've got some nice uh, Panasonic smoothing capacitors there. Um, and I get a more stable voltage output. There's the positive voltage output, and there's the negative voltage output. As you can see, I'm hoping you can see, they're pretty much smack on together. Now I don't have heart, nowhere near the heat issue that I had before because they were getting really warm after 10-15 minutes of playing music at a reasonable volume which I've been doing and they're, they're cool enough just to leave your hand on that you wouldn't even drink tea that cold to how they are okay you just wouldn't I'm trying to listen because um, the input switched off oh damn it Sorry, my wire's underneath my laptop here to the camera. And I was going to try and just pull it to the. Oh, you, you can hear. That's how rubbish this um, camera is. But you, you, um, you can hear um, like a little bit of a noise, but nothing, you know, no, nothing that you'd think, oh, there's an issue there coming through the speakers. So um, that's a much better. That that's just much better. I know it looks like a mismatch of wires there because I've got the, you know, keeping the, an eye on the voltages. As you can see, that says seven seven seven. That says seven six. Just gone on seven five. That's going down. That's going up. That's going up as well. There's going to be that slight variation because as my input voltage, uh, sorry, as my input voltage. Um, goes up and down slightly there that's fine but that's okay because there's enough room on this to swing about a bit um, and these will take up to 60 volts sort of 30 positive 30 negative and of course I'm not going to get anywhere near that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going I'm going to set up the scope and I'm going to put the function uh, the function generator on on the laptop and give a signal into each of these uh, one kilohertz signal in, and I'm just going to turn it up and see what we can do on the power side of things, and see what I can actually uh, pull on power. But I just wanted to do this little update because I, know I spent a lot of time messing around with the other amplifier, uh, the other power supply, sorry, um, and the regulators and setting it up and playing around with the resistors and everything. Then of course I found that thing online which will tell me what resistance to use. And, um, but it's all good experience. But really that's about as simple as it gets and for some reason I just overcomplicated things and this is much better you know just it's just cool it's just running cool the other one was getting really bloody hot um, so right I'm going to set up and see what this thing's doing I'll, I'll do a it sounds just the same I couldn't take it to full volume before I was only taking it up to like 20 and it was like really really loud so and it's the same like this now um, but without the heat and without the extra regulators heating up and needing uh, all that extra circuitry this is brilliant this is brilliant um, yeah and that's because I've, I've gone back and looked at videos again that I looked at a year ago well you know sort of like within the year uh, John Audio Tech does some great stuff with the LM uh, 1875s and I've gone back and I've looked at uh, setting up for the power and listened to what he said and realised that I just I was just trying to push these to the limit and really you don't need to you don't want to um, and this is this seems to be much better so I'm going to go for a um, a power test using my dummy loads the eight ohm dummy loads because I use eight ohm speakers so I've got these eight ohm dummy loads uh, got a couple of them and we're going to see what we get for power. Right, I'll set that up and come back.
Okay, I'm gonna do a channel on this and um, just do a little power power test. So I've got it hooked up to a uh, signal generator, which is this, and it's set to um, one kilohertz. What we're gonna see is the output over there. Um, I've already got one channel set up just at the minute and this is the input voltage going into there so but only on the positive side um, I suppose I could is that still connected up I think this must have a little look on this I might just plug this in here uh, switch over to this so there we go we've got negative 17 We've got positive 60, uh, 1762 over this side, and we've got negative 1763 there. So let's switch that back to scope. And I'm going to turn this up on the volume on my laptop until it starts. Let's put that measurement on, but of course you can't see that. So let's see if we can just tilt this like this. Go back to there. Well, that's about right, isn't it? And no matter what I do with this, I'm not going to need to see that. Let's go take that in closer. I just don't make out the voltage. So I start turning up. I'm looking for that clipping. There we go, it's about there. So I just drop it down one. So it's within range, and we got 7.8 volts at one kilohertz okay I'm sorry the, the camera is not much good but yeah it's terrible really and it's also dropped down to 17.75 so I'm going to turn it down Take that off there. Yeah, I thought I, I thought this would be worth showing actually. I've just changed the capacitor over, and look, I've got 8.4 volts now, RMS. And um, what I did was I put that Panasonic capacitor in there, which is a thousand uh, microfarad, rather than what I was using, which was this one. I mean, you can't see that, but it says uh, 334, which is 330 nanofarads. Um, when we get that before clipping, I can just put that back, I'll show you. But any more than that, and it will clip. But this, I've got to turn it up with the, no, as you can see, look, 8.8. .8. I have to turn it up and down with what I get on my, um, with what I get on my laptop here. So, and it also um, means that the, the voltage there is on 17 volts. And if I just put that back there, just while I, um, just while I turn this down a little bit. So I turn that down. And it's got a higher voltage on, on the line. So I just thought it was interesting, I just thought I'd add that just because it does make a difference then um, on the output power when you change the, um, the capacitors over so unfortunately I've only got one more of those I, I bought five of these and but I might take off two of those back ones and just put some um, a couple of 2200s in and leave two two there and, and use another one of those capacitors for this other side and give that an audio set, an audio check we should have a a more fuller rounder base with um, with those electrolytics. I swapped out the um, 330 nanofarad capacitors for those thousand microfarad capacitors there you can see the big cans with the uh, they're Panasonic's they're, they're proper audio capacitors and I know I've put them in, uh, in there as well for the filtering but uh, to be fair, this thing's powered up now and you can't hear anything through the speakers. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a, just a little bit. I've already been harassed today by the copyright police for the last video, and I've just had to put in a dispute. But so I'm not going to give too much of this particular track. Oops, so loud. And if I just put some breaks in it and pauses in it, that should uh, help mellow out the tracking devices, just as it thinks it's latching on. Oh, it's like those horrible things out the Matrix, isn't it, when they come looking for you? Them bloody, oh, I don't know, I'm gibbering. So, um, yeah, it definitely, well, what I noticed while I was putting them in there anyway, we got a little bit of extra power, uh, 8.4 volts RMS before clipping, and I couldn't I can't adjust it anymore in the steps you know on the volume control on my laptop um, so but I think that was probably you know just about on there right and this whole thing with the regulators and stuff that's gone now and I'm just using this uh, 12 volt 0 12 volt toroid um, which it just makes life a lot easier and I haven't got half the half the heating don't get me wrong running these at full blast um, through the dummy loads yeah they'd warm up the blooming dummy loads were really hot as well um, but you'd expect that and but just running it like normal now uh, I've been sat back listening to some music and they're not really hot at all they're, they're warm and this one is a bit warmer in this one but because of the dissipation thing you'd expect that anyway but why I faffed around so much with you know doing the whole regulator thing and stuff you know one side um i think i said this in the, the start of this sort of video is one side sort of like watched again and got a better understanding of what i was doing and i don't need to push this at the minute i've got around about 17 volts um going through this but once you take away a couple of volts you know um, per side because we're, we're swinging out and we're going up 17 and down 17 positive negative take off a volt or two for the the circuitry so let's say 15 volts uh, that's not bad it's not bad what's coming out because what's coming out basically is around about 8 watts a little bit over 8 watts uh, per channel there we go rather annoyingly after a quick reboot you know we're still on with the music that's, that's pretty good Ah, it's done it again. Oh no, it hasn't. That's the drive. For some reason, it's sort of. It, it's like it loads it, the drive. This is the drive that my music's on, that one there. And it, it loads it in and then has a little pause. And when I'm watching a video in the night time, um, when I take the laptop into my bedroom, it does the same thing when I put a film in. It only does it at the start and then. then like this. But when you just put a circuit together, you panic thinking Shit, something's going to blow up. But we can't put it on too long because the older. How annoying is that? But I suppose as long as it stops them from, um, you know, tracking the tracking the thing. But it it is uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good. I'm just trying to see if there's an actual tune there. That's It sounds very nice. I am quite surprised. Take the ribbon from your head. Oh, that's the hard drive. Oh. that was uh, it stopped and I stopped here as well because it's just a little bit annoying really isn't it so yeah I'm really chuffed that does sound um, a lot better and we don't really have that's day cold they're not even doing anything and that's good um, because while it's not really doing anything we don't need it heating up and having to dissipate 
excess energy um, yeah so I'm gonna go along with that and I'm gonna sit back now and listen to a bit of music and have myself a cup of tea think about something to eat and then go looking for the next little project I will build this onto something on a more permanent basis but I'm not going to do it in the next few days I've got um, uh, tomorrow I've got my uh, one of my daughters coming over my grandson so that's going to be a day filled with that um, but I will be cracking on with something very very soon another little crystal radio set I think is on its way uh, not on its way as in buying one I mean in my head um, going to build one Trying to see if I can do something better than what I did last time because the last one was absolute rubbish. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you real soon.